Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Cliff London Uncensored. I am, of course, Cliff London. You know, of course, everyone knows today is uh, September 11th, and it is a day of solemnity, it is a day of honor, um, and it is a day of remembering, just so that this doesn't ever happen to us again, which President Trump is making sure uh, that it doesn't at least for another four years. Um, so what I want to do with the show, the show, the video uh, today is, first of all, I just want to, um, I know that I don't know any of you personally out there, if some of you happen to run across this video, but to everyone that lost someone on that fateful day, which is this day, September 11th. My heart goes out to you and I hope that your um, road to grief recovery has been swift. I hope that you have been able to uh, find some glimmer of light to plug into the dark hole that the lost, uh, the loss of your loved one left. I hope that, um, and if you haven't found that and if you're still miserable, I hope that you find your way back and out of it and just hang on because the only thing uh, to do is to live and hope to find it again and also take solace in the fact that um, you got to know them and have them in your heart and in that way they'll always exist in your memory. Um, when September 11th happened, I was running a very fledgling, well, no, I was in a show uh, uh, of a very beginning theater company, me and my professor. Um, and I'm telling you this because I'm going to say later, where were you? But anyway, uh, and the night before, see, the show wasn't until nighttime. So, you know, I had made it my little ritual that the night before the show, you know, I would go out, get a little frisky, uh, you know, get it on doing what, you know, doing what a thespian does and had a good night and I remember waking up the next morning which would have was the morning of September 11th you know when I had to go to Walgreens to pick up some stuff and I remember walking into the Walgreens and seeing and it was just this eerie silence and I remember just like kind of like looking with I didn't even have to say what's going on just the look on my face and some lady went and some lady looked at me. This is when I was living in Columbia, Missouri. And uh, some lady went, she just pointed at the little, you know, uh, little TV they had up there. And I'm looking and I'm like, is it, I thought it was in some other country, but then I, they turned the, to turn the sound up and it's here. Shortly thereafter, I got a tech, uh, a call because the text was, Back then, it was, bo, 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 hey, bo, 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 see, you know. Uh, but basically, you know, I got a little phone call uh, from my theater professor that the show would be canceled. And the show was called uh, Slow Dance on the Killing Ground. And um, ironically, it was set in New York. New York references, I mean, people would have known now. They had decided, uh, my teacher and my co, uh, you know, my acting partner, my co-star, whatever, uh, they thought that it would be in bad taste to uh, still perform the play, being that it was in New York and the tragedy happened. I, on the other hand, thought that it would have been a great time, you know, because every ticket was sold out. And, you know, I thought it would have been a great time for people to come together and watch a show together and uh, mourn together. You know, we vibe off them, they vibe off us. But apparently, uh, you know, I got, uh, uh, yeah, I lost that battle. And so I spent the night uh, walking around with uh, my buddy Clint with with a bottle of that cheap a tankard of wine called Carlo and Rossi. Um, and listened to every once in a while someone on the street scream, I can't believe they did that shit to us. Or the usual crazy bar chick named Raven was hollering about it. It changed everything. And I honestly can say that that memory, that, that 
where were you when things changed? I mean, because that was the beginning. If you see something, say something. That was the precursor to that. There was music and songs. Movies about it made way too early. And I'll never forget it. Even talking about it now, it brings me back there. It's, it's like a time warp. A dark piece of nostalgia. And something that, unfortunately, is more likely to happen again if we get Sleepy Joe in there because you know who his posse is. It's Hunt Otmar. The traitor. AOC. The granola lunatic. Crazy Nancy. Sleepy Joe. Thugged out Ayanna Presley. That is who those people want in charge. They don't really care what happens to this country. They'll be safe in whatever Eiffel Tower they live in, or they will have extorted enough money or put away enough money for, you know, they got from whatever palm they were greasing and bounce. Now, see, I'm not saying that Republicans, that there aren't some of them that are crooked, but with President Trump, he doesn't give, he really doesn't give a shit about, I mean, that, you know, he'll, he, he cares about America bringing those jobs back, making it so, you know, he's trying to protect Social Security and stuff like that. I mean, but anyway, that's another, that, that, that's another video. He wants to keep it. And if, and you know, and all these idiots out there, these leftists, if this becomes a, so, uh, you know, a socialist utopia and we fall and you sell off all of our, our weapons and give away all the taxpayers, tax people at 70%, forcing them to live destitute while you eat fucking filet mignon, you know, and destroy our country. Where are all the degenerates that talk shit about America that want to come here for a piece of the pie whenever they're attacked by, uh, ruled by a dictator or life gets too bad and they're shit ass home and they want to come here. If we fall, where do they all go, smart asses? If we fall, you know, where, where is there to go? Oh, then let's not forget the, all the people that we protect. You know, they, they paint the media, lamestream media is painting this narrative like, oh, Americans shouldn't be over there. Well, hey, Trump's working on it. And when, and when they get attacked again, people are going to say, well, where is the United States? Oh, well, now they're meddling in their problems, you know. I hear the, you know, I hear uh, these, uh, uh, you know, illegal alien, sim you know, sympathizers all the time say things like, uh, uh, well, your promise on the Statue of Liberty and, you know, things. And I'm just like, well, what you? Anyway, I don't want to get off on a tangent here, but uh, the point in the matter is, is that if 9-11, if this is a time for anything, 9-11 should definitely be a time where for one day, I hope well, you watch these SJ jumpers are going to try to blame that on Trump somehow, even though it happened years ago, but they probably will somehow. But I think those of us that are sane and not so obsessed with orange man bad, those of us that aren't obsessed with hating anything white, those of us that are just regular everyday folk. Um, I think that it's a time for us to really appreciate one another band together and hopefully go in person and get four more years because even at that after four more years who knows what's going to happen so at least we have another four years to plan get your shit together leave your blue state if you live in one but I got faith in us America we have to do this so that hopefully we can avoid, I mean, tragedy, death, these things are inevitable. But it's like martial arts doesn't make you Superman, right? But what it does is give you a fighting chance. And I just think that President Trump gives us a fighting chance. It may not be perfect, 
as all martial arts aren't perfect, but it gives us a chance. And that chance, ladies and gentlemen, is worth living for. My name is Cliff London, everybody. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Please share the video if you like it enough to share. I am nearing that milestone of 100 subscribers. Thank you, everybody that stuck with me so far. Just remember, there is no fate but what we make for ourselves. Good night, everybody, and I hope you have a good day, and stay strong, America.